Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. I hope... <laughs> Feeling good? Yeah, feel great. I, feel love... I hope everybody had a great weekend. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I had a lovely day. Evie and I went to uh, a place uh, right on the Hudson River uh, called, uh, what's it called? Little Island, mm -hmm. which is a small... It's a small, have you been? The small little man-made island uh -huh. they've got there. It's yeah. a kind of beautiful just to see how it was built. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got, uh, it's got, you know, we took in some fresh air. Oh, yeah. yeah. Took in the beautiful views, you know. Tested out what it would be like to flee from humanity onto an <laughs> island off the coast. Great place to ride out the zombie apocalypse. You, you could blow the bridge, you're cut off from the land. <laughs> you got fields where you could grow some corn. The Hudson River is technically a water source. <laughs> And the reason I'm thinking about abandoning humanity is remember that pandemic we were supposed to be coming out of? Well, don't suppose so fast because COVID cases are rising in all 50 U.S. states. All 50 U.S. states! But that's where I live. We can see a return to pandemic lockdowns because in just one week, U.S. COVID infections rose nearly 70%. No, no, I will not give up my live audience. Even, <laughs> never, never, no, you can't, no. You can't give that up. Whoa, whoa, Woo. Woo. I don't care if they have to be nothing but a broom with googly eyes. This guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's, it's not even sweeps week. It's all... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's the show, everybody. Good night. <laughs>It's all due to the spread of the Delta variant. The Delta variant sounds like a frat house that's a disease vector. So, a frat house. <laughs> the Delta strain is more transmissible than any other variant because it has multiple mutations. And not one of them includes mutton chops and adamantium claws. <laughs> the surge of COVID cases has led Los Angeles County to reinstate indoor mask requirements for everyone, regardless of vaccination status. Typical Los Angeles. Even the virus is pitching a sequel. <laughs> One major factor keeping people from getting vaccinated is the lies and misinformation they read on social media, especially Facebook. Last week, U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy warned that health misinformation is a serious threat to public health. Makes you miss the good old days when Facebook's primary function was helping you find unflattering pictures of your ex's new boyfriend. <laughs> Cargo shorts? There's no way Diane's happy with him. <laughs> then why is she smiling? <laughs> COVID <laughs> is also causing a lot of trouble for the Olympics, or as I'm contractually obliged to call them, the perfect two-week period for you to enjoy classic Blue Bloods reruns, only <laughs> CBS. <laughs> the games... Get it out there. The games are set to begin in Tokyo on Friday, but as of today, the number of COVID cases linked to the Olympics has risen to 61. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It was wrong to make tonsil hockey an Olympic sport. <laughs> At this rate, there's not going to be any healthy humans left to compete in the games. So congratulations in advance to this year's gold medalist in boxing, the Blue Rock'em Sock'em Robot. <laughs> the Olympic organizers... The Olympic organizers are doing everything they can to prevent the spread of COVID, like in the Olympic Village, where we learned athletes will have to sleep on beds that are allegedly designed to collapse under the weight of any more than one <laughs> occupant in order to discourage sex. Yes. Yeah. Because we know if there's one thing world-class athletes can't do, it's have sex in unusual positions. <laughs> Just...
Just be sure to stick the landing. <laughs> so let's see this anti-sex bed. Wow! Every expense was spared. <laughs> Looks like they built an IKEA wardrobe, then made a bed out of the box it came in. <laughs> so far, athletes do not seem deterred from getting it on. As American track star Paul Chalimo noted, while the beds have a weight restriction of 440 pounds, I see no problem for distance runners. <laughs> Even four of us can do four. Four. <laughs> Word of warning, you don't want to have sex with distance runners, okay? <laughs> They're always trying to get their time down. <laughs> their nipples bleed, and you have to give them a cup of water in the middle. <laughs> One Olympian, Irish gymnast Ryan McClenhangan, <laughs> went so far as to test out the structural integrity of the bed. Take a look. They're made out of cardboard, yes, but apparently they're meant to break at any sudden movements. It's fake, fake news. <laughs> fake news. Great news for Randy Olympians and even better news for anyone who has sex with that guy. <laughs> Ooh, yes, yes, yes. S smack me with a shillelagh right in my Blarney stones. That's good. Scottish. That was a little Scottish. That was a little Scottish. Now, the buzzkills over at Fact Check Village have spent the afternoon debunking the rumors coming from the athletes themselves and instead claimed that the beds were made of cardboard so they could be recycled into paper products after the Olympics. I can't wait for six months from now to read toilet paper labels that read, made from 100% recycled Olympic <laughs> sex bed. <laughs> and athletes... People excited, it'll sell. I guess it'll sell. It sells, it sells. And athletes, remember, if you're recycling, you gotta break down your Olympic sex bed. <laughs> Make sure to separate your sex bed from your sex bottles and your sex cans. <laughs> Speaking of losing sleep, the FBI is still tracking down January 6th insurrectionists. And I'll catch you up on the latest in tonight's seditionist roundup roundup. Could you beef in any more trouble? First up, Arizona resident and Fred Flintstone after his... <laughs> after his yabba dabba DUI. <laughs> Nathan Wayne Entrican. Entrican is charged with violent entry and disorderly conduct, but he's most notable because on January 6th, he was wearing, as the FBI affidavit actually put it, a plus-size Roman gladiator <laughs> costume. Of course... We all know the plus-size gladiator is the one they send in on the line's cheat day. <laughs> the costume wasn't exactly authentic. Check out the jorts. <laughs> I believe, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe he picked up that outfit at TJ Maximus. <laughs> Not to correct the FBI, far be it from me, uh -huh. to correct the Federal Bureau of Investigation, but technically, Entrican wasn't dressed as a Roman gladiator. He told authorities that he was cosplaying as someone called Captain Maroney, who was a figure in the Mormon faith who fought against an attempt to overthrow a democracy, and not, as I thought, the plural of Captain Moron. <laughs> okay, cosplaying as an obscure religious figure sounds pretty nerdy, but that's not even the tip of the Geekberg, because, according to the FBI, Entrican filmed videos on his cell phone narrating the action for his mother, <laughs> with whom he lives. <laughs> Nathan! 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 Nathan, what are you doing? You can't film yourself at a riot and send the videos to your mom. You save those stories for when she tucks you in at night. <laughs> in the videos, Entrican filmed the riot and said things like, Wow, Mom, I wish you were here with me. <laughs> mom, look, I made it to the top. And here comes the riot police, Mom. <laughs> okay, that's a mother-son bond. I'm sorry, I misread that. Uh, mother-son bail bond. <laughs> but good news, Nathan, if they convict you, you're getting your own place. <laughs> Next up... <laughs> got a happy ending. Hopefully that's a... Okay, there you go. 
<laughs> Next up. <laughs> Next up on the roundup, Schenectady man and living embodiment of the term bro. <laughs> Brandon Fellows, uh, we've seen some real fashion crimes being committed in the course of rioters committing actual crimes. See gladiator costume. <laughs> But Fellow stands out as being the only one who wore a giant fake beard made of yarn. I certainly hope the carpet doesn't match the cardigan. <laughs> Fellows was out on bail awaiting trial until just a few days ago, a judge revoked his bail after Fellows' probation officer testified that Fellows frequently left her rambling, overly long voicemails, including one where he referenced the size of his genitalia and the performance of his genitalia. <laughs> now, I know nothing about the size of this man's genitalia, but he certainly sounds like a massive dick. <laughs> In court... It's a, it's a, it's a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> I'm just making a joke. Go. Uh, In court, fellows apologized for being annoying, adding, I wouldn't want to deal with me if I were on the opposing side. <laughs> A uh, tip for this guy in jail, on your first day, go out in the yard and punch the most annoying person in the face. It will be you. <laughs> Speaking of Capitol Hill, there's news from Senate Majority Leader and homicidal Mother Goose, <laughs> Chuck Schumer. Last week, Schumer unveiled draft legislation that would legalize marijuana. I think we'll all remember where we were when we heard this news. <laughs> Other than the pot smokers because of the short-term memory loss. Somebody, somebody write it down for them. They'll be really excited when they find out. <laughs> the legislation is called the Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act. Let's take a look at the bill. And someone's used a roll of joints. <laughs> at a press conference, at a press conference last week, Schumer explained why he was backing the bill. For justice and for freedom. It makes eminent, eminent sense to legalize marijuana. Yes. We must legalize it for life, liberty, and the pursuit of dankiness. <laughs> I'm talking about the sticky icky, brosef. Bong loads for days. In college, they used to call me Chiba Chuck. Well, now Chiba's in charge, and he wants a fat legal sack of skunky nug. Now pass the duchy on the left-hand side. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. My guest is host of The Readout on MSNBC. Join me. <laughs>